All right. Um, in this video, I plan to talk about the feature one. Um, feature, I mean, uh, the feature one of the three features that determines determines the stability of the conjugate base. Okay. So again, just remind us about what feature one is. The feature one is the nature of the charge bearing atom. Nature of the charge bearing atom. Okay. And then we saw that there are like two ways we use feature one. Okay. Feature one A. Um, if the anion or the charge bearing atom is in the same um, same period, okay, and then one B, um, when the charge bearing atom is in the same group, okay. The idea is if they are in the same period, then the electronegativity determines the most stable atom a more stable conjugate base or this more stable anion. And if they're in the same group, um, the, um, the size of the ion or size of the atom that bears the charge determines the stability of that anion, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try to think about why this is the case in this, uh, um, in this video, okay? So, okay, let me write electronegativity, same period. Electro negativity determines the stability, and if they are in the same group, the size determines um, the stability of the uh, the relative stability of the conjugate base or so the anion. Okay. Now, the idea idea about the electronegativity is okay. So if you take two. Um, Two, two anions from the same same group, okay? Uh, let's think about uh, nitrogen, okay? Let's think about N is two, N is two minus uh, versus F minus, okay? In the case of N is two minus, the charge will be in the nitrogen ion, uh, nit nitrogen atom. And in the case of F minus, the charge will be on the fluoride, uh, fluorine uh, atom, okay? So we know that fluorine has a greater attraction towards the electrons because it is highly electronegative. It has more protons than nitrogen. Therefore, it's, it's gonna have a greater attraction towards the, uh, uh, towards the electrons, okay? So if you, if you just draw the, um, I try to model the the fluorine uh, um, atom. Okay, so we have the nucleus in the center, and then the electron cloud. Okay, will be uh, closer to this nucleus because the electron cloud has a greater attraction towards the nucleus of uh, fluorine because it is it has a higher charge. And on the other hand. When it comes to N is two minus, okay, if I draw the nitrogen nucleus, okay, uh, it has an electron cloud with again eight electrons in this case, okay. So these these electrons are not as strongly attracted to the nucleus, okay. I'm trying to depict the electron cloud by you know drawing this like that, okay. We can have something like that. Okay. Now the idea is, if we have strong attractive interactions, we have learned that it's gonna have it's gonna lower the potential energy. Okay, so let me write that as well. Uh, so okay, weaker attractive interactions between the nucleus and uh, the, the electrons, in this case, in, in the case of fluorine, stronger, stronger attractive interactions between the nucleus and the electrons, 
Okay. So, and then we know strong attractive interactions means lower potential energy, lower potential energy. And then weak attractive interactions means relative play, higher potential energy. Okay. Lower potential energy is uh, this is going to be more stable. Okay. Lower the potential energy, more stable the substance is. Okay. And again, then again, this this uh, this is all due to stronger attractive interactions between the nucleus of fluorine and the, the electrons, okay, which is depicted by the electronegativity, okay, because the electronegativity of fluorine uh, is greater than the electronegativity of nitrogen, okay. Maybe we should write that down as well. This is all due to, uh, due to electronegativity uh, of fluorine being higher than that of nitrogen, okay. So that's why uh, uh, that's how we can use feature one when we compare anions for conjugate bases that have the charge bearing atom in the same period. Now let's go to the same group. Okay. And then to understand this, let's think about uh, Two conjugate bases or so two two anions here. Okay, let's say that um, HF, HF and HCl. Okay, actually we can take any of them actually. Okay, with HF we will get fluorine minus. With HCl we will get Cl minus. With uh, HBr we will get Br minus. Okay, so. The idea is, let me try to draw them again. Okay. So fluorine would be smaller than chlorine. Okay, this is the fluorine minus, and this is the chlorine, and then this would be the bromine. Okay. F minus, Cl minus and Br minus. Okay, now, um, in, when it comes to the same group, okay, it is not about the electronegativity anymore. Okay, it cannot be because we, we, we know that the larger the size of the ion, of the anion, uh, more stable that is gonna be, okay? And this is due to an entropic effect. Okay, the idea is about the charge density. Okay, so let's write this down. Um, the higher the charge density, the higher the charge density, uh, okay, the greater the greater the solvent organizing effect, the solvent, solvent organizing effect. Okay, so we know that when we, so I'm gonna explain this in a bit, okay? okay. So first of all, the charge density, charge, okay. Uh, the charge density is charge divided by the volume of the ion, the volume, okay? So if you have a smaller volume, like in the case of fluoride, fluoride minus here, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have a higher charge density, okay? So um, if we compare this, so if we have a different color, Okay, uh, in our example, F minus will have the highest charge density and then Cl minus and then Br minus will have the lowest charge density because the same charge is in a larger volume in Br minus. Okay, 
Now, what happens is when you put any iron into water, okay, to the solvent, which is, which is water in this case, um, okay, let's think about this. Okay, here's my iron, all right? And then what is gonna to happen to the water molecules is the water molecules are going to get organized around the iron, okay? So we have a negative charge uh, in the iron, therefore, uh, we know that the water has a dipole moment. The positive, positively charged end of the dipole moment will interact with the negatively charged ion like this. Okay, and as a result of this interaction, okay, the water molecules are gonna get organized around this uh, these ions. Okay, let me draw a water molecule as well so that you know well, what we're referring to. Here's our water molecule. Okay, it's another one. Okay, here's another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. Now, this the, the, the organize, organization of water molecules around the anion, around the ion, is going to reduce the number of configurations of water. Okay. Organizing effect. Okay. This organization of water, let me write this down. Uh, the solvent or water organizing around the ions decreases the entropy for the number of configurations, okay? And then this decrease of entropy is much greater when you have a higher higher charge density like fluoride minus ion compared to when you have a lower charge density like Br minus ion, okay? So because you have a smaller decrease of entropy in, in, in Br minus ion compared to F minus ion, okay? Br minus is gonna be more stable than uh, F minus ions, entropically speaking, because Decrease of entropy in water is less when you have Br minus uh, than when you have F minus science. Okay, and that's why the stability wise, okay, let me write this down. The stability wise, uh, Br minus will be more stable. Okay, this is going to be uh, more stable, and if will be. F minus will be less stable, right? Because the decrease of the entropy by F minus ions is much, much greater than the decrease of entropy by uh, the Br minus ions, okay? Um, all right, so this summarizes feature one. Um, well, I mean, um, feature, um, feature one, um, the stability of ions, stability of anions in, when they are in the same period versus when they are in the same group. All right. I'll see you guys in class. Bye, everybody.